Are you doing roof construction? Perhaps when you are doing a roof, you will have to come across a word, the word truss. A truss is a very essential part of a roof. And on today's tutorial, we are going to look at this truss and how to calculate the number of trusses for us to be able to have a smooth construction of the roof framework. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine. And if you are new here, you know how we do it. Kindly subscribe, share, and don't forget to to leave a comment you've been so helpful and so today we want to just proceed and look at the trusses because it's a very key element so before we look at these truss and before we look at how to calculate the trusses let's define what is a truss is a structural framework designed to provide support and strength to a roof actually without a truss then we cannot the roof cannot be able to it cannot be able to fulfill its function. It cannot be able to give us shelter. It cannot be able to give us the comfort. So we need a truss. It's a very key element. So if you look at this drawing here, whatever we have here, these ones are our, these ones are our trusses. Those ones are our trusses. And then we want now to look at how do we calculate these number of trusses. And in this case, we are going to look at a pitch roof. So if you, are, if you have the span and if you know the distance between one truss to the other, that is center to center distance, then you can be able to calculate the, the number of trusses. Now let's proceed to, <coughs> to looking at a typical truss. So a typical truss has the following components. As you can see here, we have the top cord. So this is the top cord. The, the member that the member that are lying and are meeting at the top here they are the top cord so this one and this one at the top cord and then we have the posts these are our posts and then we have the bottom cord now bear remember that we have different types of trusses so we are just going to pick a specific truss. So the different types of trusses come in depending on how these members of the truss are arranged. We have the king post truss, whereby you'll find that here at the center we have the we have the king post. Now we want to look at this plan. So this is a pitch roof plan. So we have the length, the length of the house. So we have the we have the projection this is the 200 is the wall and then we have that in 500 is the length from this point here up to this point and then on the other side we have 200 for the wall and and 400 for the projection <coughs> now you'll find that the trusses they run they run from on the longer side so we are not interested in this case we are not interested with the width of the of the building we are only interested with the length because our trusses are going to run like that like that so we have been told the trusses are spaced at 200 millimeters center to center so we want to find how many are they and then later on i think we did a video on how to calculate the the rafter so if you have trusses and rafters, once you get the trusses, when you're calculating the rafters, remember to subtract the number of trusses. Because if you don't subtract, it will mean that if you combine your trusses and your rafters, they are going to exceed the they are going to exceed the length that you've been given. That is 13,500. Now let's find the number. How many are there? So our length is we've said is 13,500 from this point up to this point. So our truss starts immediately after the inside wall here. There up to up to there. So you can see they have just left. So we are going to take this distance from here up to here. Remember it's 2,000 millimeters center to center. So our spacing is 2000 millimeters center to center then for us to find the number we are going to take the entire length and then we divide by the the spacing and then we add one so that gives us 7.775 so because we cannot get 7.75 so we are going to say approximately we are going to need eight trusses so when we are building our roof we just need to 
to put here eight trusses. It's good for you to know the numbers so that when you are when you are preparing for the trusses, you don't make extra trusses or you don't make less trusses. So guys, that is how you calculate the number. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.